Hey everyone, I'm back again for the Soulmate Twin Flame Oracle Reading. Currently, I'm in the south of France, Marcion Plage. Um, it's where my husband's family live and where he grew up. Um, I love it here, it's beautiful, and as promised, I always make it my business to, tr to get the weekly reading up for you guys, no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing. And the one thing I do like about this beach, or I should say love about this beach, is that I love to meditate. And when I meditate, I really feel like a sense of um, zen, of, of serenity around me, and I can pick up so much more vibrations inside myself and the universe. Now, as you all know that there's a lot going on in this world and in almost every country there's something happening. Um, you know, our hearts go out to the people in Texas and in Spain and, you know, just all over the world. So I've been meditating here since the past few days, sending light, sending love. My prayers are with everybody. Um, so what I did today was I really tried to um, focus on what the angels need for us to know and, and our guides need to tell us so that we can empower our lives. I mean, we can't change the world, the universe is the way it is, and things happen for a reason. But remember, we all are in charge of our own destiny and our own lives, and we have the choices to make. Sometimes they're not exactly what we want in our lives, but this is like the things that have to happen. And you know, like with all these energy shifts that has happened in August, um, and, and the solar eclipse, I mean, I'm not blaming and saying that it, it all, all of these things happened because of it, but as you can see, there was energy shifts like in everything, not just in our own lives, but everything around us. So I really hope that you all are um, really focusing on positive light, positive energy. It's a time to, for all of us to just stay in unity with each other and, and really focus on positive energy, not looking at what's going on. I know it's dramatic and whatever we try to walk, well, like avoid the news. I know I do, especially where I'm over here. I, I don't want to see it, but I do focus on the positive energies that are needed for this world. And without further delay, let's get started. Okay, I've meditated and asked for guidance from our angels and spirit guides on what we need to know for this upcoming week, um, what we need to understand um, with things that are happening and occurring in our lives. Now, with this energy shift that has occurred in our lives, some of them may not be what you really want them to be. Sometimes it happens and you just don't understand it. And I know a lot of us are still recovering from it. I know I am, but it's due to the fact because Mercury retrograde is still in effect. So there's some interesting things that are that is going to occur, that is going to happen um, in the next month or two. Um, just be prepared. It's not a negative or a positive thing. It's just, it's a shift. It's just what's going on in our spiritual center. Um, so the cards that I've used today were the daily guidance, or the da daily guidance from your angels oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, one of my favorite decks, is, and I've used it many of times. Now I've I've moved from the beach onto a quiet area. It was way too windy and there was a lot of small children playing right around me. So um, this might sound a lot more quieter, a lot more soothing. I felt that this was where I needed to do this reading. Okay, so let's get the first card. Blessing in disguise. This is a very beautiful card. As you can see, this angel, things are not perfect. Things are not what she wants them to be. And that's basically because there's a blessing in disguise. Sometimes it happens like this and we just don't understand why we have to go through it. Sometimes we under, don't understand why life gives us these obstacles and these challenges, but they're not exactly challenges when you're getting through them, when you're, when you're actually accomplishing something in your life, that you're actually making something happen. Now, when it comes to soulmates, and divine partners and, and twin flames, it's not always a bed of roses. I, I have to say that there are so many obstacles that come with the package. Um, it's like you go through all of these different emotions with your soulmate when you first meet. Sometimes it feels as if you're going through life and, and finding life and it's an awakening that happens. And it doesn't always feel like the best thing that has occurred in your life. It's more of like, why did this happen to me? Why did I meet this person? Because usually when you meet your divine soulmate, it's never perfect. And it's always 
it comes with a little bit of a, a price of things that you have to sacrifice and sometimes those sacrifices that you make are not in your in your in your favor because I mean you don't you don't feel happy about it but then with a little time something happens that you find that this was a blessing in disguise and maybe you're going through this um, difficult period in your life where life is just going through like this roller coaster and you're just you're not getting that satisfaction with your with your soulmate I mean yes soulmates are supposed to be the best thing to happen into your life and to give you the most um, abundance of love abundance of joy if it's your soulmate divine soulmate twin flame I mean past life connection twin ray whatever whatever type of soulmate you are involved with you can't look at why things are not happening the way you want them to happen instead you need to focus on the here and now um, you have to focus on yourself first of all you have to be ready maybe you're not ready it's like maybe you're just not into this relationship and you're blaming that person because that person isn't submitting enough or that person isn't giving you enough that's something you have to look at yourself you have to judge yourself you have to I mean not judge yourself but more like you have to just really re examine the things that are going on in your life I mean it's a time for renewal especially with those energy shifts I mean it's made us think about a lot and made us really go over things over and over especially with mercury retrograde and you know you have to really just take a look take a second look at what's what's going on in your life not so much of why that person isn't responding when there is a separation with your soulmate you have to remember that separation is not there to hurt you but it's actually there to bring a calmness in your life maybe to calm the storm before something um, really occurs something really happens that that's you know spectacular in your life that you have to be ready just like when you're preparing for something you're going to this big event this big event you actually prepare for it you days in advance maybe months in advance but you have to be prepared if you're not prepared you're like oh gosh I'm not ready I and you run you're you're not you're not done you're not you're not there yet so you have to look at your spirituality and say the same things am I really ready am I really at that point where I can be myself my true authentic self or am I just looking at the physical end of it and saying hey yeah this is what I want because I want to be in a relationship I need a relationship I want closeness I want that beautiful bond that intimate relationship with that person that I love so much that is beautiful the wanting those things there is nothing wrong with it but if you're not looking at the things of why you're connected to this person and why these things are happening to you you're never going to get it and you don't want to just give up because it'll just come right back to you it'll just go in a circle so like I said this is a message that you have to take in you have to understand whatever it is that it's telling you because maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't resonate right now but if you really look at it come back to this reading you will see it does resonate let it absorb okay so just watch this reading from the from the beginning to the end and then you can understand certain things that I'm talking about okay so let's go to the next card oh. okay listen and you know what that's that's something that goes to all of us I mean no matter what you're doing as you could see she's telling you it's time to listen listen to the, the quietness to the angels the the energy that is being told to you as this card says and I'm gonna to try to read it okay um, well because I don't have my glasses with me but as you can see it says it all it's it's basically telling you that you need to listen you need to understand this is something that has been told to you over and over I mean we all know it's time to listen we have to listen if we don't listen we're not getting that that message and we need to we need to examine ourselves and for some reason it's not focusing okay there we go we need to focus on our true self our true authentic self something inside of you is trying to come through something inside of you in a good way that is something is trying to blossom and develop manifest and I, I have to I have to tell you it happens with all of us even even if you are more advanced spiritually or you're under um, somebody 
you have to remember that we're constantly growing and the only way for our spiritual growth to achieve a higher level, higher frequency is to listen. Listen to those messages that are being given to you. Sometimes the messages are not positive and it can be a blessing in disguise what you are being told. Sometimes it just doesn't, it just doesn't completely like come through in a way where it resonates with you and you say to yourself, I'm not going to listen anymore. We, you know, human nature doesn't want us to just sit there. We just want things right away and get it done and just go with our life. But you have to listen. That's the, that's the whole purpose of why we go to school when we're young and, and go to college. And we need to listen to what is being taught to us because if we don't listen, we are never going to grow. We are never going to achieve higher. And we never can find our, our true center, that authentic self in us. This is the same concept of what it goes to with your soulmate. If you're still looking for your soulmate, if you're still looking for that one true person, but you just seem to keep finding the same type of person in your life over and over as the same pattern, well, that's a story for you. That's a message for you. That's that's something you have to look at that you're getting, you're getting some type of message that you're doing the same thing over and over in your life and you're not really getting it. So you have to keep redoing it over and over until you change the pattern, until you change yourself, I should say, because when you change that pattern, maybe you're vulnerable to something, maybe you're saying too much, maybe you're opening up too much, maybe you're not opening up too much, maybe you're not giving too much, whatever that may be, try something in a little different approach in your next um, relationship or in your relationship. This could be even in that relationship that you're on right now, that journey you're on. Maybe it's a twin flame journey. And you know what? You just keep going through the circle pattern over and over and you just can't find an answer why this person treats you this way or why this person is not listening to you. Maybe you're not doing something for yourself to understand that you're treating yourself with the same type of energy that this person is picking up on. I mean, there are so many different ways to look at this. This is why I really suggest that you sit down and meditate and focus and ask the angels right now to just give you that message and l really listen. I mean, listening to those messages is going to tell you something that you're going to be totally surprised, totally um kind of like shocked because you didn't you never heard it before so another thing what I, I'd suggest and I have always said this to a lot of my clients try to go where there's water if you're gonna meditate I mean I meditate all the time back in Ohio of course there's not really a lot of water but I do have these big water um, containers near me or a glass of water I, I try to use as much water near me when I'm meditating on my gazebo or outside or indoors or wherever I'm at because water is a symbolic energy that that sends like a message just like the water that is around the world it's around the universe it's something to look at it's just something to think about i would strongly suggest that you do this okay now let's go to the next card okay have confidence okay now that is so true we do have to have confidence into what we are looking at in our life if we don't have the confidence if you are insecure or you are self-conscious about yourself just like this angel you're not you're, you're you have to have the confidence she has confidence in herself she's looking around herself she's surrounded in a garden it's beautiful um, I know the cards look feminine but it also applies to the masculine energies as well um, basically masculine and feminine energies are within inside of us and you need to know that having the confidence to do something in your life having the confidence to really pursue whatever it is your goal in your life that, that your dream um, it could be that you're not you're not really believing in yourself there is something that's in your heart something that you trust something that you feel that is so right you feel like this person is meant for you this person is supposed to be the person that you're destined to be with but when you're constantly second-guessing yourself and not giving yourself enough to feel good about this person or about yourself i should say you're not having the confidence because confidence comes from within your spirit and we all have it trust me 
we all have it. It's nothing to do with ego. It's nothing to do with our with our mind. It's basically you have the confidence, just like you know what you're what you're feeling, just like you know what you're seeing, um, just like you're looking at these cards and you could see there's a there's a like a like a beige background behind it, and I hope it's showing up as a, like a beige creamy color. Um, tan, I should say, you have confidence. You know that that's what it is. So the same way you need to know that you have the confidence inside of you to move forward. Moving forward, letting go, and if it's something that you need to move on from, maybe maybe it's a person that you really have no desire to be with and you're you're trying too hard because you feel like that's the only thing that you have in your life. And maybe you thought that that person was the person that you were supposed to be with but then you're learning that it's completely fizzed out or it's not it's not as extreme as it was but there's maybe somebody else that you're focusing on but you're you're not really too sure um i'm not telling you to leave this person and i'm not telling you to stay with this person but you need to trust into what your heart is telling you if you feel like that is what you, you know what is your desire is to be in a relationship that you're not happy with that you're just just you know spinning your wheels so to speak then you need to maybe you it's your choice i mean i can't tell you what to do but if there is another relationship that maybe you're finding more like like a drawn energy to you have to really examine the two and weigh them out and, and understand that this is your decision to make no one else's decision i can't make this decision and i can't influence you on what the right choice is because only you can this is your your call basically your destiny maybe it's to stay with this person maybe you're needing to be grounded maybe you can rekindle this relationship maybe maybe date night would work maybe that's what it is maybe the second person that you're infatuated with maybe it's just because it's a reflection of what you need to do in your life to get back the new again in your heart so that you can feel hey this person that i've been with um maybe is someone that i am happy with so like i said I can't make that decision for you. You have to go by step by step, layer by layer, pick them up, take them down, pick them up, try what works for you because you need confidence. It's it's like this is a message. See, just by one message, one card giving a message, it opens up like so many different doors for you. And if you don't open those doors, how do you even know that you're on the right path? I mean, you could be searching and seeking and going back and forth with everything and you've never found your true serenity, your true peace in your heart because there's no confidence. The confidence is, is missing and you know what? That's something that happens to all of us and I hope that you, you really like maybe write it down, maybe write down everything that you feel maybe your energies your your emotions write it down down on a piece of paper and then come back to it maybe a week a month later and say you know what i don't feel that way anymore because i have the confidence because the angels has revealed something to me god has revealed something to me that i need to work on myself and what i thought was something that i could have made a big disaster in my life with was not exactly that bad because I had to really examine it. Sometimes taking away a situation and saying, you know what, I'm just leaving it all behind and I'm gonna start over again. You know what, that's not the answer because if you really have the confidence, you would have done that prior to all of this, not just in an impulsive way. You need to take it slow. When, when something is meant for you to walk away or maybe to start over again, you will get messages and they're not just going to be laid out you need to walk away it's going to be something that you're going to feel within that's the right thing to do i mean it's your life it's your destiny it's your path and i want to help you to make that destiny your you know your, your fulfilling destiny um but you have to go through what life lessons are being given to you because life lessons is what we all deal with on a day-to-day -day basis it's like in school every day is a new new course or a new lesson and we have to just keep keep studying keep researching keep going with it until we find that that one path that we're looking for okay so let's go to the last card 
trustworthy guidance. Yes, yeah, see, that's what I've been talking about. As you can see, this angel, she's a teacher and she's giving their student, which is a man, the, the, the guidance that he needs, the guidance he needs to grow, the guidance that he's looking for. He's not, he's not finding it because he's searching, he's looking, he's researching it. He doesn't know the angel is behind him giving him guidance because he's really, he's really studying. Now that's, that's the way we need to take our lives. We can't just make a decision and say, that's it. I'm going to do it this way, especially when the forces are against you in a way, well, not against you, but an influence Mercury retrograde. Um, I don't have nothing against Mercury retrograde, but I have to say it seems to make things go a little haywire, just like the video that I've made actually for this um, today, for earlier today, that because of Mercury retrograde, I have to say it just did not show up on my on my iPhone and I did find it on my other phone and for some reason it just like it would not let me edit and do anything to it. So I said, you know what, that's the angel's way of saying to me, I need to reshuffle the cards and I really need to get the true guidance. Maybe the maybe the reading will come up again. Maybe maybe it'll show up on my phone. And if it does, I'm going to upload it because I'm sure it's a message for another time. And I'm sure when I come back to the States, I I will see it. And that's why you need to look at the guidance that's being given to you about your life. Your spiritual energy is right now trusting. You're trusting in what you feel in your heart. And every time you look at the picture. Um, or I should say you look at the glass half full, you are actually revealing an inner positive energy of inner positive spirit. But looking at it half empty, it's always going to leave you down and in a place where you just don't feel positive. Um, I like to focus on positive affirmations. That, that helps me a lot with getting messages throughout the day. I try to eat clean. I try to eat healthy. That really does help because when you're feeling sluggish and if you're eating processed foods, these things will affect your spiritual growth. Honestly, it really does. Try it. I mean, try eating vegan or try eating more vegetables and fruits in your diet and staying away from fast foods just for a few days. I guarantee you, you will see a difference and you will get messages. You will see the trustworthy guidance that, that is being given to you by the angels, by your spirit guides, just the messages that are being given. You can use them to empower your life to get higher, to find peace with your soulmate because your soulmate needs you, your twin flame needs you, your divine partner needs you. But if you're not focusing on the right things in order to get to your divine soulmate, it's not gonna work. I mean, it's, it will work, but you're not going to make that divine union that you really want happen in your life. I mean, it's a constant, it's a constant day-to-day process that you work on yourself, the merging, the, the energy release, the everything that's going on, everything that's purging through the detox. It is a day-to-day -day basis, just like the physical detox, just like what we do. We accumulate so much throughout the day that we try to eliminate by using certain measures in foods that, that help us not feel the effects. So it's kind of like doing the same thing with the spiritual energy, mind, body, and spirit. And so that's why I highly recommend that um, you try to follow a clean, healthy diet, try to get some walking exercise, um, vigorous exercise, whatever that may be. Also, I like to do meditation and I strongly advise you to do meditation in order to get those messages because in order for you to, to, to find what you're looking for, there is a blessing in disguise why things sometimes are not going in a, in a positive way in your life and you've been seeing it and it just doesn't seem like it's moving because you need to listen. You need to listen to those messages that are given to you and have confidence that it's going to work or have confidence in yourself that you're going to make it, you're going to make it through this difficult time. If it's something that whatever you're going through, I feel like this is like a direct message to somebody that you need to, you need to talk to somebody that you need to, you know, give that confidence as well. The trustworthy guidance is all being given to you every day. Notice the signs, notice what you're feeling and you know just let go of everything that that feels like it's weighing you down okay so i really hope that you enjoyed this reading 
I mean, there is a lot of messages that were coming through and some of them didn't even, I mean, the cards were saying something, but I just felt like there's many, many messages that have to come through and I had to like just bring them out the way they came through. Um, if you like my video, please give me the thumbs up. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do so and get the videos um, as soon as they come out, as soon as I post them. Also, I wanna thank you all for um, all your support who have subscribed to me and have given me um, your comments and likes and everything else because it really means a lot to me. This is why I make these videos because I know a lot of you depend on my videos and that, that really touches me. I, I have to tell you tell you that it, it's something that it's, a, it's an energy exchange and when there's an energy exchange it just it blesses you and you feel you feel empowered and that's why I, I will continue to make these videos no matter where I'm at and I'm still here in, in France and I love it. Um, you can follow my social media sites if you want to just follow along what I've been doing and see the, the posts, the pictures and the videos that I've been posting. I'm having fun with it with my husband and I will be back soon in the US. So I am still giving readings while I'm here. Um, my phone and chat readings may be a little limited because I'm working part time and I'm only here on like the, the certain hours, which I am currently pretty much booked, but I am open to email readings, which I can get to at any time and at any place because it's a lot more um, convenient for me. But also please be patient if there is a delay with your reading, just give me like at least 24 to 48 hours to get to, to you. If, if I haven't gotten to you in those that time, please email me. Um, you have my contact information. Um, I will post more links down below. So if you're interested in booking a reading, um, you can do so by um, going to one of the links at my, at my blogs. Also check out my videos. I have many different videos on my YouTube channel about soulmates, twin flames, also other reading videos. You may get a message from it. Also my blogs will have um, lots of information about soulmates and twin flames that you can um, more than welcome to, to um, look through. So until next time, God bless and namaste.